So what should your benzo recovery program look like? Now, let me tell you, I do coaching and I base what I do in coaching, not only from my own experiences and from everything I've researched over probably eight years now of research, but also on the back of all my training in clinical psychology. I'm not yet licensed, but I'm really close, finishing up my dissertation. I've pretty much done all my training and I'm now even doing extensive training and things like Beckian, uh, uh, anxiety, depression, exposure, CBT, uh, DBT, things like that. So I'm building and I have been building a program for healing based on all these things, all kinds of research from um, exercise to exposure therapy, to cognitive behavioral therapy, to dialectical behavioral therapy, from uh, lifestyle changes to existential depression management, all these things. And I try to put them in my book and I'm putting them in my coaching. So what should Ben's recovery look like? This is one thing that I really hammer on over and over again, because I believe so much is perception. I mean, part of the reason why we have anxiety and all these problems, it's not the myth of it's just a, bio, a biological problem. It's a chemical disposition. The fact of the matter is chemistry influences thoughts. Thoughts influence chemistry, influence behavior, influence chemistry. It's a continuum. You could take someone with no chemical disposition, and if you put them in the wrong environments and the wrong circumstances, they will develop mental illness and vice versa. People with pre-existing uh, conditions, you put them in the right environments and the right circumstances, you can quite literally annihilate those things. So the first thing I like to do with my clients is education, which uh, thankfully most of my clients are already really educated. You know, you, I mean, when you go through this, I mean, you part of the nature of the beast is you're going to do a ton of research and you're going to try to get knowledgeable in these areas. The next thing I focus on is perception. Perception is so important because that is, that, that's the first step when people come to me. I don't feel like I'm getting better. Things are horrible. I'm never going to get better. So perception. Then we go through a taper protocol and then we start going through things like dietary change, sleep routines. We, we work on building an exercise program, even if it's just increasing your steps from 300 steps a day to 500 at first and, and so on. We work on ending rumination and then we start doing gradual, gradual, slow exposure therapy. And finally, self-work is self-knowledge and self-control is what really helps us, uh, you know, bring us all the way home. So that's some of what coaching looks like. And uh, if you're interested, there's some contact information below. And I'd be happy to help you. Hey everyone, thanks for watching and listening. Please click the like and subscribe button if you enjoyed the content. And be sure to check out my book on Amazon, The Powers Manual, Benzo Guide to Recovery.